breaking news report. Good afternoon. I'm Lynn Cannon. We've got breaking news and reports of a shooting that happened about 15 minutes ago. Uh, we are told perhaps in Terminal B at Bush Airport. Sherry Williams is on her way to the scene right now, and let's go to her on the phone and get the very latest information. Sherry, what can you tell us? Hi, Lynn. We just pulled up to the terminal. It is, in fact, Terminal B. We see probably at least a dozen police cars. An ambulance or a fire unit just went by us. Uh, they're telling us to move on. We tried to stop and get some video, but I am passing by the arrival section, and they're waving us through. Basically, we can't stop there. Uh, something definitely is going on. We have no information right now. I'm passing by an officer who has a dog and the dog is sniffing around the truck and seems to be going from car to car. Um, and that's about all we know right now. We've gotten a call to the airport system hoping they'll call us back soon and give us some information. But there is a heavy police presence out here at Terminal B of Houston Intercontinental Airport, and we are hoping to get out and get some more information right away. All right, Sherry Williams, thank you. Uh, you'll continue to gather more information. Again, a report of shots fired, perhaps as many as four, inside Terminal B at Bush Airport about 15 to 20 minutes ago. And according to reports and sources, the incident took place at a checkpoint, we believe, inside of Terminal B. Have to confirm that, but that's what we are being told that perhaps it took place inside. A ch at a checkpoint at Terminal B at Bush Airport. Now, we don't know the circumstances around the type of shooting. Was it an accidental incident? Did somebody actually pull a gun and start firing shots? Of course, as you know, when you go to the airport and you go through a checkpoint, you do have to go through a detector. And so we don't know if this happened before someone went through the detector uh, or after they got through or before they even went through in the first place. So we're still gathering information. Very unusual situation. Uh, very rare that you hear about a shooting incident at the airport given the type of security that airports have, especially in the post 9-11 world. You do have a lot of TSA agents. You also have a lot of uh, bomb sniffing dogs on site. Uh, there is very tight security. You are not allowed to go into the terminal unless you are checked. And so we don't know exactly what the circumstances are, but we're continuing to wait for more information. You heard Sherry Williams talk about a massive police presence, which indicates that something seriously has happened. Shots fired. The question is why? We do not know if anybody was hit, if it was more than one person. And according to all right, now, according to sources, I'm a producer that's talking to me, says that the gunshot wound was self-inflicted. Now, whether that's an accident or someone did it on purpose, that's the information we will still have to find out. But according to sources, there was a shot fired as we take a look at our first pictures here at Terminal B at Bush Airport. And according to our source, there was a, somebody was shot, but the wound was self-inflicted. And of course, it, because it happened at the airport, it gets a lot of attention, a lot of police presence. Sherry reported who Sherry Williams just showed up about 10 minutes ago, and she said there were a dozen police cars on scene. And you can see from this video that there is a police car here in one of the driveways, looks like the uh, entrance uh, right before Terminal B. Uh, so clearly, heavy police presence. The the question, of course, the circumstances. Did this person shoot themselves by accident? Was it on purpose? If so, why? Very frightening, of course, in a crowded Terminal B at Bush Intercontinental Airport. We are continuing to gather information. Sherry Williams is now on the ground. We, of course, will have the very latest on you anytime at our website, khou.com. And, of course, we'll have all the details and pictures coming up on KHOU 11 News at 4 o'clock. We'll see you then. This has been a KHOU 11 News breaking news.